Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will be doing a spoiler review of Season uh, 2, Episode 4 of The Mandalorian. This one is titled uh, The Siege. So once again, I said this is a spoiler review, so if you haven't watched the episode yet, uh, go back, watch it, and uh, come back. So uh, basically, I, yeah, this was another really good episode, followed up with uh, from last week's episode. So uh, at the beginning of this episode, uh, he comes, uh, Mandalorian, he comes down uh, to this planet called Navarro, and he meets up again uh, with Cara Dune, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Carl Weathers' character, uh, Grief, I think it is, yeah, Grief. Um, and so, uh, they, they come, he comes and he stops there for repairs, he meets up with them, and um, so he agrees the child to uh he finds out that now that Kara is uh now a marshal in this um in this town and and grief is the magistrate so they kind of taken uh they kind of take up the leadership of this town and so uh so while they're there uh he they didn't they take baby yoda to a school uh to then they're with the students i thought it was really funny because I love there's a great scene where they set Baby Yoda down to this next to this kid in this classroom and the kid hasn't eaten some cookies and Baby Yoda's saying like, you know, making motions that he wanted um he wants some of the cookies. Um and so he uh the kid was like, No, I'm not giving you cookies. And so what does he do? He uses the force to sneak the cookies away from the kid and, you know, eat them. So it's like, you know, don't you better share with Baby Yoda, or he'll take your stuff, man. <laughs> it's funny. So, and also earlier it was a funny before they landed. Uh, he was trying to get uh, Baby Yoda to uh, fix something in the ship, and the part where he couldn't reach you, he started to cross wires. And of course, um, Baby Yoda, uh, you know, electrocutes himself. That was a pretty funny scene. He's like, "Oh, I want to give it a shot," but obviously he's not used doing mechanical stuff. So, anyway, so they're down there on the race, and so Kara and Grief want want his help to help them take out an old Imperial base. Uh, on their side of the planet, that basically, uh, that's the only way this, they say the only way this planet can be free is taking out this base where there's, there might or might not be troops there. And they're, you know, they don't tend to stop terrorizing the planet. That's the only way they can be safe and free of any remaining Imperial control. So, uh, Mendo agrees to this. So they, they end up going, um, uh, on a big uh, speeder bike. They end up going out there to this, um, to this base, and it turns out, of course, there are still uh, troops there, so stormtroopers and everything. So it's still an active base. So they infiltrate the base. Um, they make their way through there. They, um, you know, take out. You know, they have the big battles. They take out stormtroopers stuff, and so and then they end up um, overloading the the reactor in the uh, in the core. So they only have like ten minutes or so to get out of there before the place blows up. So uh, they, so they, but then they go to a main computer and they find out from there that this is not just a regular Imperial base, that they're doing um, experiments there on all different creatures. Uh, and it appears from a message they said that this is where they were doing the first experience on Baby Yoda, that they were, uh, you know, doing, see, I guess with the force and whatever, uh, to see if they could use another creatures. And so the mind was like, okay, you know, this is a key to, we have to find out, find out the mystery here. And then I'll say that in Goth, in Moth uh, Gideon, was behind these experiments. So, um, so anyway, they, they run out of there, they're getting chased, they have a big battle, the troops, and then they try to get out of there. And so they, they, uh, Mondo, Mando uses jetpack to get out of there, whereas the, uh, Kara and Grief and them, they use, they get on a, a troop transport to get out of there. And so anyway, I thought this was one of, parts, one of the best parts of the episode because then they're they're going down this canyon, uh, through a canyon trying to get out of there, and then they're getting pursued first by speeder bikes, uh, which they were able to overcome and blow up, and then they're then pursued by um, tie fighters from the base, uh, troops in there. So then that was a really cool scene where they're going there and they're getting shot at uh, by all these uh, tie fighters and everything, and then um, they're able to. Uh, and it looks like they're almost done for when you get through the canyon. But then um, Mondo, Mando comes back with his ship and is able to, in a big, uh, they have a big air battle, and uh, he's able to uh, take out these Tie Fighters. And I, I thought that was a really impressive uh, battle. I mean, this was like, this was a little mini movie here. The you know the Star Wars movie were uh, good old ba battles between you know X wings and Tie Fighters, but in the case it was. Uh, it was a Mandalorian ship and not a, uh, not a, uh, X-Wing. Uh, but still, it was still great to see the old TIE fighter and go through and everything and, you know, taking on speed bikes. They did all kind of, uh, high speed chase and action scenes here. I thought that was really entertaining. So, um, 
yeah, so so they did that, and then uh, the, so at the end when they finally uh, beat the troops, um, he says, Mon- "You say, hey, stay," and, and Mondo's like, "No, sorry, we gotta go. I'll take you know that you, know, you repair my ship. That's all I really needed." So he's gonna be on his way to uh, to the um, to the next planet to go find uh, Ahsoka to go go drop off uh, Baby Yoda. So. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then at the end of the episode, um, they find uh, it goes to the uh, it goes to a, a big star destroyer, and uh, it's, it's it's Moff Gideon's ship, and so and a captain tells them that oh we were successfully got a tracker on Mondo's ship, and so he's like okay great, so now he knows where the little baby's gonna be, and so now he's gonna track him down and get the baby Yoda back for his experiments. And then you see a bunch of, looks like uh, death troopers all there. So my theory is that he's trying to use baby Yoda because baby Yoda has the force. He wants to get whatever that is extracted from him and be able to put in all these soldiers. And then you have a bunch of super soldiers that can use the force, you know, and then he'd be like pretty much unstoppable, you know, <laughs> with his troops. Like you can probably, you know, wants to build a new army that could take on the new Republic. So that's his, I think that's his scheme. So it's so I I think it's it's really interesting. So this is a very good episode. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was great action. Like I said, it was like a mini movie. Uh, I love the air battles uh, in this. It's like where we got you know in the last episode we got a lot of the new the older Mandalorians from you know, from Clone Wars and Rebels brought all those characters back. Um, this episode was good. Like you know old action uh, classic action Star Wars with the air battles and with the battles with the stormtroopers on the ground and all different areas of combat. You know. You know, like it was like a, you know, a, a caper movie in a way. Um, you know, infiltrate, take out the base. You know, blow up the base, and um, you know, get off. So I, I really enjoyed this episode. I think that the season's been going really strong so far. So can't wait till next week's episode. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks again. Once again, thanks for uh, tuning in. And if you've seen, uh, you've seen the episode, please leave a comment uh, in in the comment section. And once again, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye.